Hi, I'm Aaron Killian for Historic America, and I'm standing in front of the Dunker Church in Antietam National Battlefield. The Battle of Antietam, fought in September of 1862, was the single bloodiest day of combat during the entirety of the American Civil War. By the end of the day, over 22,000 Americans would be killed, wounded, or end up missing. The Confederate Army, under the command of General Robert E. Lee, was in a desperate position, greatly outnumbered and pinned up against the Potomac River. The Union commander, General George McClellan, knew this, and he resolved to begin the day's fighting by annihilating the Confederate left, which was anchored here on the ground surrounding the Dunker Church. The rebels who held this ground were under the command of none other than General Stonewall Jackson himself, and he would be sorely pressed. The fighting would swirl around the church and the west woods and the neighboring cornfield. Ultimately, the north was unable to gain the upper hand, and the scene of battle would shift elsewhere to the sunken road or Burnside's Bridge. If you want to learn more about what happened that day, you should take our tour.